The usage you're only thinking that it may damage your life, that if you eat the fertilizer or pesticide, it damages your life. What are the extra micronutrients this particular fruit has? What are the health benefits that this will give you? Almost in every country, people are deficient of these things simply because it's not there in the soil, it's not there in the food. When the produce comes to the marketplace, right now, suppose if you go to the market, they say this apple is organic. What is the other apple? Is it inorganic? Is there such a thing? So, right now this complex thing of trying to check how much fertilizer, how much insecticide or how pesticide is in this apple is an impossible thing, believe me. Because on which day you applied it? When it was flowering, did you apply it? After it became a small fruit, did you apply it? After it became a big fruit, did you apply it? What season did you apply it? Did it rain on that day? Was it sunlight that day? All these things will determine how much of it actually gets into the produce, not exactly the usage. The usage, you're only thinking that it may damage your life, that if you eat the fertilizer or pesticide, it damages your life. This is like you're concerned about the fruit, but you're not concerned about the root. The fundamental principle that there should be organic content in the soil, because that is the food for the microbial life. Without that, we are starving them. If we starve them, they will starve us one day. It's just a question of time. So right now, the concern is to keep the soil organisms alive. Because only if they stay, al stay alive, we will all be alive, because we are just a consequence of that life. Even in terms of evolution, we are just a consequence of that. So, when the fruit or the vegetable comes to the marketplace, instead of marking it as organic and whatever else the rest is, if you mark it as this fruit comes from a field which has three percent organic content. Now there is enough science to tell you, if the organic content in the soil is three percent, what are the extra micronutrients this particular fruit has? What are the health benefits that this will give you? What are the preventive things that will happen to you in terms of ill health? All this science is already there. Both physical and psychological health is very connected to the micronutrients we consume. Right now we've been through a pandemic. You don't need to consult any great virologist. If you ask uh, any basic doctor, they will tell you, if you're lacking vitamin A, B6, B12, foliate, iron, zinc, magnesium, you will be more susceptible to respiratory infections. This is a known thing. And uh, just look at this in the world, almost in every country people are deficient of these things simply because it's not there in the soil, it's not there in the food. Now, I'm not trying to say a pandemic would not, would not have happened if the soil was good. Definitely it would not have caused this much panic as it did if we were of a stronger constitution. And that stronger constitution is not one day's thing. It doesn't happen by going to the gym. It happens by eating the right kind of food and by being connected with the soil through the food and also otherwise. If that otherwise is not possible to city-dwelling people, but at least the food should have that.